we're continuing our tour of the calendar components. So we've just turned on the agenda view, the uh, work week view, the work shift view, and we're going to go now and uh, preview that. So you can see now that here are our additional views. There's the work week. Uh, there's the agenda view, and if I click on a particular event, I can uh, see more details uh, of the uh, of the event. And then there's the work shift view over there, and you can see here that I can go there and easily adjust the uh, uh, duration of the event. So uh, the different views of the calendar are quite powerful. Then you can specify basically the starting time and the ending time of the calendar. This is a 24-hour clock. So this specifies that the first appointment is at 6 o'clock and the last appointment is at 7 o'clock at night. You can specify the initial date display on the calendar. Obviously today would uh, make the most sense in most cases, but if you want to use an explicit date, you can see how you can use your own syntax over there. This is the slot height in pixels, so when we uh, view the calendar uh, in the, um, um, the week view, we're talking about this height over there in uh, in pixels. The actual height of the calendar itself and the width of the calendar can also be set. So that's the slot height in pixels. This is the number of intervals uh, in an hour. So right now, since we have four, um, each slot in the um, calendar represents a 15-minute interval. But if I go now and change that uh, to two, for example, and then go and preview the calendar, uh, what we specified now is that, uh, in effect, that each hour is divided into two slots of th um, 30 minutes uh, each. So um, the, the navigation bar um, on the left and um, uh, allows you to choose um, uh, the uh, week to be shown so, and also the calendars to be shown. So this um, piece over here is the so-called navigation bar and you can turn that um, on or off. Um, uh, you can make the calendar read only if you want. You can specify what the default view is in the calendar, what the first day of the week is, what language um, to use basically. So you can use uh, English, French, Italian or Spanish. Uh, then you can specify the calendar height and the calendar width. So. Uh, the calendar height over here is 500 pixels and the calendar width is 99% which means that the calendar is going to completely fill the iframe in which it's contained. So if I were to go here and change the width of the iframe container leaving this at 99% the calendar would be bigger. So let's go there and change that to say uh, 1500 pixels and then if we render the calendar in the browser now we can see now that the uh, calendar has um, gone off the right hand side because we've made the calendar uh, much uh, wider. Uh, then the calendar itself is contained in an iframe so we can put a border around the iframe and then um, these are two advanced options over here which let us decorate the template so um, the if we want to add some additional HTML markup uh, in the area that surrounds the calendar iframe or in the area inside the calendar, we can modify these two, um, these two templates uh, uh, using any HTML markup that we want and then putting a placeholder. Uh, you can see the uh, calendar is the placeholder for the actual calendar if we want to modify this template. And if we want to modify this template, we can use the iframe placeholder. Uh, curly bracket iframe placeholder over here. So this is where you would enter your license number. Um, so without a license the calendar is only going to work in local local host but if you want to uh, use it in a real world um, application you'll need to purchase a uh, license number. And uh, this is where you bind the calendar to your own tables so that the events and calendars can be stored in tables and in a subsequent video we'll show you how you do that. Uh, this is where you specify what the name of the dialog component is that you want to use and again in a subsequent video we'll discuss um, how, you, how you can do that. So that's given you a, a quick tour of the uh, various options available to you in the calendar component. Thanks very much.